drive.
Snake. Snake! If he's dead, that means... Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel! Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 bombers have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. Oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expected you to come home alive. Me neither. I'd better not show my face around there. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. Mm, that's not too far from the truth. There's also a helicopter waiting for you at the Fox Islands. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay. Roy. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy, a hard copy of all of Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I'll look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Dye. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling's with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake. It's me. Naomi? I heard... about my brother. Uh, Fox... no. 
Frank wanted to tell you something. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought on sheer willpower until the very end. Maybe... Maybe now he's finally found some peace. My brother was already dying. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar land, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Eye too. What about me? When am I going to go? <laughs> That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time's up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code, inscribed into their genes. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before, the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was, where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that its genetic information houses a person's strengths or destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. A snake. Whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm gonna choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from now on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to what will come. All life is tethered to the future. Loving each other, teaching each new generation, then the world can change. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or a reminder of the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. My survival instinct that tells me not to die. That's all the motive I've had in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live.
So, where to, Snake? David. My name is David. <laughs> okay, so where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. Hey, what are those? Caribou. To the illusions, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. It's nice, isn't it? Being alive. Come on. Let's enjoy life. <laughs> Thank you. 
You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life and then live. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Yes. Yes, sir. Thanks to the vaccine. Yes, those two are still alive. The vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, there are no other records. They've all been deleted from the base's computer. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes. Yes. Liquid is dead. The inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Of course, the other one thinks so, too. Yes, sir. I agree completely. It takes a well-balanced individual such as yourself to rule the world. Yes. Yes, sir. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one. Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I understand. The surveillance will continue. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. President.